Hello, my name is Jan Welch, and welcome to the Then and Now Blading YouTube channel. I'm here with my good friend Robert Guerrero. We're in Drummondsville, Quebec. I'm visiting him, and I brought a pair of USD Aon 60mm Niccolo Max Pro Skates that we're going to unbox together for the first time. And I've never skated Aons. I've always wanted them, so I'm really stoked to get these and skate them. I know you've skated Aons before, Robert. What's your experience with the skates? Which ones did you have? So the very first pair of Aeons I had were uh, the 72 millimeter wheel Aeons. Um, and that was, well, that was, I think it was over like five years ago. Oh wow. Um, but I skated them for two years straight, the same Aeons um, for that long. And I really enjoyed the uh, 72 millimeter aspect um, with the speed and the ability to grind uh, without catching up on things. Um, so I had a really good experience, so I'm actually really excited to open this box. And this will be a test for Robert too, because we have, as we mentioned in some other videos, he has issues with sizing. And these are a 10, 10 and a half. He's been usually skating like at 8, 9. Yeah. Now he's on a 9, 10. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how these fit for him. His last Aeons, he told me yesterday, they were way too small and you had to totally mod the boots to get them to work with your intuition liners. Yeah, so my second pair of Aeons were 60 millimeter Aeons as well. And uh, they were gifted to me by Ken and Scott at Blading on the Brain. Um, and Damon Franklin left them at his house. And at the time I was looking, I was kind of in the same position I'm in now where I was looking for some skates to skate to get back into, to really get back into skating after my brain injury. Um, so that was the last time and they really helped me uh, kind of get my mojo back <laughs> after not skating for so long and recovering from a brain injury. Uh, so this is really exciting for me right now. Oh, awesome. Well, let's check them out. I don't have to wait anymore. This, this is the Nick Lomax Pro Skate, and he is one badass skater. So we've got <laughs> the pamphlet, not quite as fancy as the Icon pamphlets, but I'm not sure how many people actually read these. Maybe somebody's parents say like, Timmy, make sure to read everything in this thing, but it's in 30 languages. So here we go. How do we get started? Anyway, what's going to happen? 95% of these like that. <laughs> right? You ever read those, Robert? No. Go ahead and pull one out. Let's see what okay. it looks like. So, these are really nice. I like the, this, I like the little baggies. And, yeah, the little baggies are really nice. And normally I would think like extra packaging is too much, but these seem like you can actually reuse them. They're reusable and they're supposed to be biodegradable as well. Oh, so. really? Cool. Oh. Yeah, so the whole packaging here. They don't use plastic anymore for anything. Uh -huh. So it's definitely nice. And the skates look really good. And yeah. don't forget the most important thing, the tools. We've got two wrenches, which is unusual, but you probably need it for the wheels or something. Who knows what. We've got the skate here. And are these looking pretty much the same like the ones you had before in the 60s? Uh, they haven't changed anything, have they? Or yeah, the they, this right here, um, that I had a strap before. Oh, you got I a think, strap, so I now you got a lace across. holder for the laces. Yeah, now there's a, uh, a little hook, which actually looks really cool. Um, it's got a really nice look on it. Um, so what makes the Aeon a special skate is it's one piece. It's a unibody skate, integrated sole plate, frame, boot, which is almost a step backwards, but it's also makes the skate a lot lighter. It makes it a lot stronger. And you won't break the frames as easy. It kind of looks like a Kaiser frame mm -hmm. here that's just integrated into the boot. Mm -hmm. It's a 60 millimeter skate, but the wheels are actually 61 millimeter, 90A. So. That's going to be hard to find another pair of 61 millimeter wheels for those. And I'm not sure if they actually even are 61. We did that before. <laughs> Trade secret. 
<laughs> with 4x4, four four, we would do a 57 and 58, but they were both 58. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just <laughs> Trade secret. <laughs> now, one feature I like about these Aeons a lot, just looking at them right now, is the cuff is adjustable, so you can raise mm -hmm. it and lower it. And looks like one of them's down and one of them's up already. So we will adjust that. Oh. Um, that's going to give you more flex on the lower and more stiff on the upper. Now, it comes with MyFit liners, and I love MyFit liners. Wow. They're always heat moldable. Did they have the MyFits that I was used to too, or was it just uh, the USD liner? They didn't have these liners. I, I just remember that. It's been so long now that... I have to uh, remember. I like how it's got the hole here because sometimes when you put the buckles through and it's solid, it like doesn't go all the way. Mm -hmm. Now, the buckle protector doesn't look like it really protects the buckle very much. No. So if you're gonna catch a curb, see, see that? That's gonna pop off, right, Robert? Yeah, that, no, that is. That's like that a is. not very good. Buckle protector. Everything else looks pretty good on these so far, but it's been a long time since I popped and the I, buckle off. One thing, one thing I think I, I like about this hook is is that it's just like less going on, but at the same time, you know this this area is like an area we slide out on quite a bit. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, lasts. Yeah, for sure. Now I pulled out the liner. This is the MyFit Nick Lomax liner. This is a 10, 10 and a half liner, which is good for me because I'm a, I'm a 10 and a half. Now I know on some of the other Aeons they had, they came in dual sizes of like 9, 10, and then 11, 12, which I'm glad that these aren't because I'm in that in-between size. Now, Robert, there's a different story. You want to feel, feel what those are like? Ooh. Well, they seem super padded, but at the same time, pretty thin. Yeah, on the front, they're pretty thin, but they have this thing on the back oh, okay. to protect your heel. And then we've got a couple of inserts in the boot. You've got a foam pad like if you got a heel pad here whoa kind of thick whoa. yeah it's really thick and that's just a universal heel pad for sizes 43 through 47 now we've got you know there's no bolts to stick on your feet like the UFS bolts do sometimes you can see the wheels the frame is actually I mean it's someplace I actually cut out the bottom so you have more wheel clearance which is pretty cool. All right, Robert, do you want to skate these wins with the cuff higher or lower? I I would like to skate them lower. So let's go ahead and swap that one out. Okay. Now, when you skated these the first time, they were too small. And what did you have to do to make them fit? Oh, jeez. I what I <laughs> I had like an idea in my mind to. Uh, downsize with these skates and uh so i asked for size eight and i was gonna put intuition liners in them at the time that was my thinking anyways i thought it was a great idea so i got them and then i put my feet in them and they hurt way too much but i still wanted to skate them so i drilled a hole i drilled a hole here and here and then I, um, or no, here and here. And then I took a razor blade and I made like a, a, a cut across and then just like opened them up, um, which is a gamble with skates because you don't know if the line that you cut is gonna keep ripping all the way through, you know, the rest of your boot, which would really suck, especially if you, you know, pay full price for them, which at the time I didn't pay for them, so I just went for it. Um, but it made it possible to get used to, but it took 
like probably a month or two to actually get used to it. But once I broke them in, I skated them for two years. But you know what? I, I wouldn't suggest doing that because in the long run, I don't think cramping your feet into skates is healthy at all for your feet and the rest of your body. Um, and I'm happy that I'm realizing this now that I'm 41, <laughs> even though I started, you know, skating when I was 12 and have had this bad habit of doing this kind of like foot binding thing to my feet. Um, but so I'm happy that I'm able to have this opportunity to try bigger skates. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad, you know, with age, a lot of of us have got out of our bad habits, you know, yeah. not everyone, but no. a lot of us. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. definitely cool. And you skated for USD. What was, uh, uh well, I didn't, oh, you didn't technically, I didn't technically skate, for USD. skate for USD, but once, once I realized that I enjoyed skating their skates, I began to contact Matthias at power slide and then he would send me packages. So you were like flow. Yeah, so I was like a, I was like a flow. You're like a flow pro. Yeah, I was, I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like a flow pro. So yeah. that's my left skate set up. Looking pretty good. And Nick Lomax has lots of good videos on YouTube of him shredding these skates. Mm -hmm. So check it out. He even did a rolling review where he talks while he's skating them at the skate park. And, you know, Robert can skate these like Nick Lomax. I'm going to skate them more like uh, no one that anyone's ever heard of. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to let Robert finish lacing up his skate and getting a liner in. Then we're going to get ready to go to the skate park. And after we skate and go around town a little bit, I will be driving back to Vermont. So planning my next trip to Boston. I'll be in Boston for four days, five days or so making content. So there should be lots of videos coming out in the next couple of weeks. And I will be in Europe as soon as possible. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be rad. So look out for Robert, Portugal, Poland, Spain, and anywhere he anywhere might flow with the wind. Go. Yes, very true. So cool. Okay. Robert, you stoked on these? I'm super stoked on them. Alright, we will go ahead and check these out. We will try them out at the skate park. We'll keep you posted mm -hmm. in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. We will be testing these out shortly at the skate park, like I had mentioned before. So if you want to see that new video, make sure and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when that uploads. I have a link to my social media in the description below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I have a link to my Patreon page and a PayPal donation page if you want to support this channel and see more videos from me in the future. Thanks again for watching this, and we will see you very soon here at the Dunn Elevating YouTube channel. <laughs>